Welcome to the Philips 27E1N 5900R monitor setup tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your Philips monitor. Let's get started. First, let's see what's inside the box. We have the monitor itself. Next, we have the USB-C cable. Following that, we have the power cord. Following that, we have the HDMI cord. And then we have the stand. Then we have the base. We also have the quick start guide, which is handy for setup instructions, along with the important information manual. Lastly, we have the data spec sheet. To set up the stand and base, first we will lay the monitor on a flat surface facing down. Next we want to slide the top of the stand at an angle to where the grooves slide in and push downward on the stand to snap the monitor in place. Finally, we will screw the base to the bottom of the stand. Next, let's go over the viewing angles of the monitor. For optimal viewing, it is recommended to look at the full face of the monitor, then adjust the monitor's angles to your own preference. Hold the top and bottom of the monitor so it will not topple when you change the monitor's angle. The monitor can be height adjusted 130 millimeters and tilted minus five degrees to plus 20 degrees. It can also pivot 90 degrees. Note, Please do not touch the LCD screen when you change the angle as it may cause damage or break the LCD screen. The monitor has an HDMI port, display port, USB-C port, and two USB-A ports. One is a fast charger and the other is USB downstream. We also have the joystick button, which can control the OSD menu and power on and off the monitor. First, we're gonna go ahead and connect to the power of the monitor. After, we're gonna use the USB-C cord to plug into the USB-C port of the monitor. We will now plug into the USB-C port of the computer. After plugging in to the USB-C port, we should shortly receive a signal. In order to turn off the monitor, we're going to press and hold the joystick button for three seconds. To access the OSD menu for the monitor, you can move the joystick to the right. You can scroll through the menu by moving the joystick up or down. You can adjust the brightness of the monitor by moving the joystick down. You can change the signal input to HDMI, DP, or USB-C by moving the joystick up. You can select Smart Image setting by moving the joystick to the left. To lock or unlock the keys on the monitor, press the joystick down for 10 seconds. You will see the monitor controls unlock or lock display pop up if done successfully. You must be plugged in via the USB-C port to the monitor to activate the hub. In this example, we are connecting the mouse to the USB downstream port of the monitor. And there you have it. Your Philips monitor is now ready to use where ergonomic comfort meets seamless connectivity.